Hey gang, Matt the Health of Home Inspector coming at you from home over in Muskego today. And one of the things that we come across as home inspectors is uh, a condition called backdrafting. <laughs> Backdrafting, basically what it means is that we have a conventional efficiency appliance. In this case, we're talking about a conventional efficiency water heater, gas-powered water heater. It's got a burner down underneath there that's actually running right now, okay? And it's basically, uh, those flames and stuff are producing heat, and that heat is what's heating up the water inside the tank, all right? Now, through that combustion process, there's carbon monoxide produced, and the exhaust gases and the carbon monoxide is supposed to come up through this vent, all the way up and out of the house through this vent. Now, this vent goes all the way up through the attic space and up through the... Uh, uh, roof. We'll have a picture of what the outside looks like here. And basically um, what happens with backdrafting is that those exhaust gases aren't getting pushed all the way up through that pipe like it's supposed to. Some of it's getting pushed back into the house, okay? And those exhaust gases do contain carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is a harmful gas. It is something that can cause uh, sleepiness, drowsiness, and in worst case scenarios, lead to um, unconsciousness and potentially death. Um, so carbon monoxide detectors are an important thing to have in your home. Uh, and in this case, with the water heater, while I will be listing it as a defect just because of the safety condition, okay, um, it, it's something that doesn't have to necessarily be replaced immediately, all right? Um, the only time in which it would need to be replaced immediately is if the carbon monoxide is constantly pushing back into the house. And in this case, it's not. So this backdrafting is happening once in a while. And one of the things that's telling me that it's occurring is we can see the melting around these little plastic pieces around the vent boot, okay? Um, it's supposed to look like this, but it looks like that okay um and none of those hot exhaust gases should be entering back into the house here that should melt this so there should not be any melting happening at either of these locations um there's a little bit of melting on the back side over there as you can see as well on that little white one um, but ultimately, you guys, um, the, the short-term fix for this, okay, is to put a carbon monoxide detector right on top of the water heater. That way, if the carbon monoxide is getting pushed back into the space, okay, um, you're going to be made aware of the carbon monoxide situation, and you'll be able to take action or avoid the space, okay? Taking action means ventilating the space and getting it uh, uh, nice and safe, um, but ultimately, if that carbon monoxide detector is going off, it's telling you, hey, there's a problem here, and you want to be cautious. And taking the proper precautions to make sure that you and your family are safe is important. Important. Now, this water heater is in the same room as the furnace, which in case would, could suck some of that carbon monoxide in and pump it up throughout the rest of the house and stuff. But carbon monoxide is kind of an expanding gas. So as it enters into a space, it expands out and uh, fills the space equally, kind of like in a balloon, okay? But the carbon monoxide in this situation, the only real way to correct this would be either A, replace the water heater with a uh, uh, higher efficiency model or a electric uh, model or a heat pump type model um, that doesn't actually have the uh, the active flue going up through the uh, the roof and stuff in a high efficiency model basically we have a condensing water heater that's going to push the pipe out push the uh, um, exhaust gases out through a PVC pipe with a blower or motor and force those gases out never even having an opportunity to enter into the space if we want to do conventional efficiency it's possible but you're probably going to end up having to correct this vent pipe or put in a booster in a booster and basically this little fan that would go in line with this pipe and would push those gases up through the roof, getting them all the way out of the house so they don't have a chance of entering back into the home here, um, causing the backdrafting situation that we're seeing here. So it is something that's pretty common for home inspectors to find. We will always list it as a defect just because of the carbon monoxide risk and the safety of your family. Um, but ultimately, it's not something that has to be replaced immediately, but it is something that you want to make sure you don't put on the back burner. You want to make sure that you address it um, and be aware that there is that possible condition and making sure that your smoke carbon monoxide detectors are always up to date less than 10 years of age and tested once a month is very, very important, all right? So that is back drafting of a conventional efficiency water heater. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments down below. We'd like to know what you think. And if you like this stuff, you guys, hit that subscribe button. We come out with new stuff all the time and that subscribe button will make you aware when we have a new stuff coming out and stuff, it'll pop up into your feed. But if you want to be not notified immediately when things are coming out, hit that bell notification. That'll say ding, ding in your uh, uh, phone or in your uh, email and your computer. Say, hey, uh, help home inspector drop the new video. Uh, but you can also give us a like, give us a thumbs up if you like this stuff, right? Um, really appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks for watching our videos today. Um, and remember you guys, one of the things that I, I'm always saying and always preaching to all my clients, the better you take care of your house, the better it's gonna take care of you. And that's no joke. Have a great one, you guys. We'll see you next time.